Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we've got um, Matt Drain's FD RX-7 engine. It was a Mazda crate engine, and we'll have a look and see what happened to it. So this engine was a, a crate engine from Mazda, just an FD crate engine, and did just under 7,000 kilometers, and had an unfortunate event where just the tip of the apex seal had broken off. Then basically once that's happened, the rest of it's run around inside the engine and made sweet love to the rotor and housing and brought the whole shebang to an abrupt end. So we've stripped it down, we've got a new rotor, new housing, um, whilst it was apart, um, Matt has planned on making some little bit more power later on. At the moment he's going to keep the twins on it, but he has in mind that he's going to do some upgrades. Um, the upgrades. So what we've done is we've clearanced the rotor on the side of the tip. We've got the deep groove rotor bearing in it. Everything else in the engine is quite good. As you can imagine, an engine that's only done 7,000 kilometers. Bearings are mint. Um, everything actually in the engine is really, really good. However, it did jam in the other rotor. It did jam side seals and some corner seals in. So it is getting a couple of new side seals, springs, and some corner seals. And whilst the engine's apart, because he will plan to make some power later on, we've started the engine, just give it a real mild port, and um, we'll assemble it now. Now even though this rotor was matched with the original weight rotor that came out, it was a C-weight rotor that had been damaged and a C-weight rotor that was going back in. It's still important to balance the assembly. Um, even though, Mazda says, you know, they're interchangeable, the weights do vary. So we balance the rotor so that it's, it becomes a essentially a balanced assembly. Um, and they're matched weights, both the rotor, rotors are then balanced, and then the entire assembly is balanced. Now the reason we also do that is because this engine has a standard cast iron flywheel, the one that uh, Mazda provide. Now at some point in time, this engine may get a light flywheel on it, aftermarket flywheel clutch assembly. We'll actually be able to balance a counterweight to bolt straight onto this without affecting the, the, the balance of the entire assembly. Obviously we won't be putting standard Mazda Apex seals back in it as that's what broke. So we've gone to an aftermarket seal and these won't break. So this damage that has occurred won't occur again. All right, so that's uh, Matt's FD engine all buttoned up, and that will go into the car, and we'll get that on the dyno, hopefully, ooh, it'll probably be uh, mid next week now, but we'll, um, yeah, we'll get on the dyno, and we'll video that as well, and show the results.